Hi guys, I have a small haul and a card share. So I'm going to start with the haul. So this came from Amazon, it's just a few little things um, that caught my eye. So the first thing is these um, Hi, I guess is how you pronounce it, H-A-I. Um, little dew drop hearts in like pinks and reds and there's like a little sorry for the lighting they're almost a peachy color I thought these were super cute so I got those I also got the Katia April crystals they look like little diamonds um, but some of them are, you know, not all of them are like really sparkly. Some of them are kind of opalescent. I thought that they might work for water droplets. Um, but I think they're a little too blingy. I really wanted just the plain, clear ones for the water droplets. But I couldn't find them anywhere. So, I'll keep looking. I bought the... Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean Dispenser. I did not buy this for his cleaning product for stamps. I prefer alcohol. Just good old fashioned rubbing alcohol. And I had been using the uh, little pads. But that's a lot of waste in those. And I'm not a fan of, you know, wasting money and or product that goes into the landfills of this, you know, this poor world. So I decided to give this a try where I can refill it, I can just pump it, use, you know, either a stamp chamois that's dedicated just to alcohol, or I can use paper towels, which I can, because alcohol evaporates, I can use it again. So I kind of like that idea. So, but I'll probably end up using one of the stamp chamois. I have two, so... I could probably use one just for the alcohol. And uh, so I got that, and it works like a charm. I really like it. It's very much like um, uh, a nail tex, you know, acetone bottle. Basic, same concept. So, but I like that, so I got that. And then I also thought I would give the blending brushes by Tim Holtz a try. Um, I like that they come in their own little container and they have a lid so I don't have to worry about ink getting everywhere. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how the brushes work and I'll let you guys know how that works. And then I picked up um, a few more oxide inks. I got the Twisted Citron, the Spiced Marmalade, the Worn Lipstick, the Wilted Violet and the Fossilite Amber. I'm still wanting the Abandoned Coral. So that was the one I was really, really wanting, but I couldn't find it. But four of these was in a set and it was a really reasonable price. So, and I think it was a Citron that I bought separately. So these four were together. So that is my haul and I will be right back with my card share. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys what I used first, and then I'll share my card. So, the first thing I used was the Lawn Fawn Reveal Wheel Sentiments. And that's what these look like. And I used the Wishing You a Wonderful Birthday. I used the Lawn Fawn Stitched Rectangles. Sorry for the glare. Oh my gosh, that was atrocious. I used two paper pads. I'm really close to killing one, so I'm attempting to do that. Um, this one is Simple Stories We Are Family. So as you can see, it's like really close to dead, guys. So I'm trying to kill one. It'll be the third for this year, if I can kill a six by six. And then I also used a little bit of the uh, Knock on Wood by Lawn Fawn. So I like that wood grain look. And then the stamp and die set that I used is an older set, and I don't know if it's retired or not. I did not check the website. 
um, but it's just really a fun set. It's uh, by MFT and it's called Geek Chick. And this is a birthday card for my very geeky daughter-in-law. Her birthday is next month and I'm trying to get a little bit of a head um, because I have a lot of work to do with the business stuff. So this is my busy time of year so I didn't want her to uh, be left out. So I used this one and I used this stamp set or this stamp, this stamp and I used uh, this one right here. I think you're spectacular. And it comes with dies. And uh, those are the dies. So here is my card. And I think it turned out super cute. It's very simple, which is really how she is. And um, it's just, you know, it's kind of a classic, simple card. Uh, this could be certainly a guy card. I mean, just change the color of the glasses and you've got a guy car. You know, skip the stars. <laughs> and so that's what it looks like. There's a stamp set, or the stamp that says, I think you're spectacular. And then on the inside is the other two stamps. And I just used a scrap of the paper that was on the front here and did the tiny little glasses. I used 110 pound card stock and I did three layers for the glasses to kind of layer them up. I used the Nouveau glue to do that. And then these little stars right here are from Recollections from a couple of years ago at Halloween time. And I've seen them recently. They still have them. And uh, then I just put a couple more there. There is a stamp. On the stamp there are stars. So I just decided to put those there. I thought they were super cute. And I used vellum for the inside of the glasses. Just to kind of give it, and I fussy got that. Just to kind of give it a little more dimension I guess so that is my card and my haul and I want to thank you guys for watching I hope you're having a wonderful week and be sure to make a happy memory and I'll catch you guys soon bye bye